Hello, ILE Journal. Um, I'm losing track of days because they're weekends and stuff, so we'll just roll with it, and I will not say the days anymore because I just... They'll be wrong. So, today, still looking at home because there's clay all over the rec recording studio. I have gone through my trusty music folder, which... Um, it's actually quite valuable to me. It's a collection of all my songs from the pa past ten years, so decade of my life. Um, and what's cool about this is, well, when I was younger, my mom organized my music for me because, as I've learned in the past year, I'm really bad at keeping track of music. And so I will show you some types of music, or just what it looks like. But when I started, probably when I was around eight years old, they were really simple. Um, and it'll be backwards, but I'll find it out a little bit. They were quite simple, so you see, like, um, it looks a lot different from a Western music, I guess. Even though the world is a circle and you don't know which way is which. Um, uh, and so this is... The song names are usually in Chinese because my instructor is Chinese. Um, so, Mama, uh, that means like, I mean, it literally means mother good. So, I think it means like, I love my mom. Something like that. But this is a song. It's a very traditional song that you play like for your mom, dedicate it to her. So, when we started out, when we were little kids, there's right, left, right, left, very easy, marked out. This is a 4-4 four, four meter, uh, oh no, too far I lied. So, um, one measure is in the G, uh, I really need to learn my music, but it's in the G, uh, key, the G key, um, which I will show you on the dulcimer, like, what it is, because it's actually really crazy, you think it's simple, but it's not. <laughs> um, and then 2-4, so, and that's the rhythm. Um, so, this is one measure, so, uh, 6665, which reads, la, 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 so, because on the dulcimer, it's a do, re, mi, fa, so, la, t, scale, instead of, uh, a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, no, I don't even know. And then, this is the end of a measure, and then another one, so, mi, 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 so, and then you'll play right, left, right, left, right, left, and then, you get down here, oh, and you see the lines, this means that they're all uh, half notes. So instead of the circles and whatever, you have lines. Basically, the more lines there are, the faster you play, um, which you'll see in the more complicated music. But then, this is probably pretty familiar, like you play through here, then you repeat, then you go through, and then you play this last line, and then the double bar signifies the end of the song. And you see how there's a they're like commas, that means a trill, so like when you do the fun thing with the sticks. And then the dots underneath signify low, so like high or low, so like this is a high do, this is regular do, this is like a regular la, this is a low la. Basically the more dots there are above, the higher you go, the more dots there are below, the lower you go. It's very intuitive and a lot easier to read, I find, than something like... Uh, let me, I don't even know if I have any. Like, this is my other music folder for, like, bass guitar. It's way easier to read than this. For me. And this is Cancer by My Chemical Romance. Way into that bass stuff a while ago. But, <clears throat> this is not a lesson in Western music. So I'm gonna put that away. But, so... So when my mom organized my folder, it was so beautiful. She bought me this binder and she put my music into sleeves, so like, easy to read, put on a music stand, flip it, more songs. So you can see like, this gets a little more complicated. These are all probably from my first years of learning, just really simple, really easy, really clear. Oh, and this is pretty cool actually. So my teacher would, when we were learning the scales, this is the D scale, and he'd mark it out on the page, like, what the dulcimer looks like, and the strings, and then he'd mark where the notes are. So, again, I'll show you on the dulcimer, but you can see on, like, one string going across, one side is one note, and the other side is a different note that's, like, um, I don't know, like, a fifth step up or something, 
I'm not really sure. It's just different on both sides. So you play one side, one side, one side, and that's like a scale. And this is the D scale. So the ones, the only ones I've learned actually, I think the most common ones for dulcimer. The most common one is either is D and G. Um, most of the songs I'll be playing are on those scales. But we also know C major, which is more common for like Mozart type music, um, which I'll also hopefully be recording because it's really difficult. But so the G scale and the D scale are basic, and then there's the E scale, the C scale, and the A scale. They they go really crazy. But so this is music, and it it's going in the sheets and look. My mom even wrote out some of the songs sometimes because our teacher just wrote it on a whiteboard, expected us to memorize it, so my mom sometimes helped me by sitting in the back and copying it for me because I just wouldn't have time to do it myself, um, even though I was the freak who pushed learning dulcimer, locked myself in a room and learned it. But, um, so then it gets a little more complicated. Like, this is still very basic, like, stuff. You see, like, all the instructions and stuff are in Chinese. Um, so that's how I learned it. Um, but, well, basically every And then you see, like, there are more notes. Songs get longer. The writing gets smaller. Um, it gets a little crazy. But, well, just to point out, this is all my teacher's handwriting, which is, like, really nice. That's, like, really cool to be able to write that well. Oh, and then this is another copy of the song that I will actually probably be recording. Um, it's called, I think it's either called Windmill or like Pinwheel, like, you know, those... It has something to do with the wind blowing something. It's either one of those, it's either like a windmill, as in like a windmill, but I always thought of it as those little things that you buy with the tin foil that spins around. But, so you see like, then once it starts getting more complicated, it's all, it's written, it's not no longer handwritten, it's in like computer print and it's smaller and there are two parts to it so when I was showing with my left hand and my right hand before this mirror flips it so I know my right and left <laughs> um, and and then once we get more complicated instead of those one by one lines you'll have uh, two lines or even three or four lines for getting really crazy. Um, and oh here's green I'll record green sleeves. Play homage to my Irish class and Celtic music and stuff. Um, and then so this is all basically this is more basic stuff. <laughs> but I guess I'm recording I'm not gonna record much of that. Um, plus I don't it's all in my head right now because when we learned, actually, uh, what our teacher would always say is, well, we always have to memorize all of our music. So all of those songs are basically right in here. Um, and the reason why we do that is, it's, it, well, for any music, it's easier just to have it in your head. And our teacher really believed that if you memorized it, then you can focus on putting emotion into the music. And he was all about the emotion. Um, and like playing with feeling because if you don't play with feeling you may as well not play at all things like that <coughs> but I really want to find a scary looking one it's just to scare you all away. well I mean, they're not really that bad um, but this is ah uh, je vous dirai maman something 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 basically twinkle twinkle little star Mozart's original uh, what is it eight eight part arrangement <coughs> Well, it's not the original. Transcribed for dulcimer by our teacher. So it's in C major. And you can see the notes here. There. It starts out pretty simple looking. Then it goes all sharp and funny. And they're like triplet things and stuff. And the whole right hand, left hand craziness. But I'm going to be getting a folder soon. Or like, I'm going to make another binder that looks like... Um, the one that my mom made me when I was younger. Because I really need to organize this and have a clear layout. But I really want to find another crazy one. There's the Turkish March. So I guess this is a good... This isn't a pointless video. It's kind of pointless. But it's just to show you what the songs look like before you 
listen to them. Um, uh, yeah. And then the second part to the Turkish March. Oh, this one's good. This one's pretty scary looking. So, this is probably m my favorite song. Um, I forget what it's called. Because I can't actually... I have All my years of learning to read Chinese didn't really sink in. But you can see, like, these huge things where you just go crazy. And then this is all for one person, so there's the right hand and the left hand, um, what you have to learn. And then it just goes on for five pages. Most of these songs are at least five minutes long, uh, which is kind of cool because, like, when I play, I, I just lose track of time. When I was younger, actually, I would um, think of stories to go with the songs. So, I, I don't know, this is kind of weird. But um, when I played a song, I'd have an image, like a movie playing through my head that went with the notes. And, like, there was a song about, uh, like, there's a song called, like, horsing, like, a boy on a horse, messenger going somewhere, and the way that it sounded was like a horse galloping, so the beat was like, dun, 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 dun. and then I just have this image, actually I don't even think the song is called that, I, in my head I would just think of a boy on a horse riding through a desert, and it was really fun, because you'd go up and you'd be like, oh, he's slowing, he's speeding up, gonna get there, and then slowing down, getting sad, getting mellow, oh, maybe he fell off his horse and broke his leg, and then you'd sort of go on with that. That's how I played songs in my head, and it made it really fun, and it helped put emotion into my songs, but this is a pretty epic song that I'll be recording. It has a star on it. So we'll see how that goes, but... Um, so that's day question mark of my ILE.